Some people think that social media trains us to compare our lives instead of appreciating everything we are and aren't. And I speak on social media depression. A few weeks ago, David O asked, if everyone is an influencer, who is being influenced? I say, we influence one another. A lady on LinkedIn said, this app can make one depressed too. I see LinkedIn as a place to advertise your career achievements, find opportunities, and not a place for comparisons. Social media gives everyone a voice. Look at what we did with enters in just two weeks. But if you spend your time on social media listening to everyone else, you may be soaking in just too much. Social media created new industries for people to earn income. But some people get depressed rather than progress with its influence. You find people doing all sorts of things to get followers, from posting nudity to IFB. I follow back comments under the president's tweets to solicit for followers. From befriending old schoolmates, family and friends on Facebook to sharing information and knowledge on Twitter, social media came with a lot of advantages. Businesses are finding new customers online and customers are accessing great products and services from just a click on their phones. My advocacy is for young people to define themselves by their own personal goals, then use social media to their advantage. Comparison is a theft of joy. No two lives are the same. Someone else mentioned that your friend may just have a phone with better camera. Their life may not be so much better. I don't compare myself with anyone else, but I'm not immune to social media depression. When you watch live videos of men in military uniform shooting live ammunition at peaceful protesters at the Lake Etoll Gate in Lagos, and the governor comes on TV to say there were no fatalities, then people start to ask you for bodies of the dead before you can call what happened a massacre. You start to have anxiety and palpitations. You doubt yourself. You may easily slide into depression with the whole aura. A massacre is a killing, typically of multiple victims, considered morally unacceptable, especially when perpetrated by a group of political actors against defenseless victims. To kill unnecessarily and indiscriminately a large number of people. What happened at the Lekki Toolgate was a massacre. When people then try to spin the narrative and make it seem like the military were just there to scare protesters away, you query the value of a human life in Nigeria. For two straight weeks, I had heart palpitations that scared me. I consulted two doctors who both agreed I should get tests done. I was referred to the Lagos State Teaching Hospital, Lasuf. I was pleasantly surprised at the facilities, personnel, and organization at Lasuf. I will talk about that experience someday. But all my test results came back good. It was great to know that I'm in excellent health. Eventually, both doctors recommended rest. Now, for someone who has been working from home, I didn't think I was stressed. But we have to process so much information at the speed of light, be bombarded with gory details of human brutality and information overload. It may get too much for even a strong person. I realized it was time to schedule my social media exposure. Protect your mental health. My phone has to shut down by 10 p.m. now to give my mind some rest. You know, your body may be at rest while your mind is overworked. And stress is the foundation of many illnesses, including mental. Do you get social media depression? What's your coping mechanism? Yes, I do. And, uh, my coping mechanism is I don't look at social media um, until from Friday evenings to Sunday mornings, until Monday mornings sometimes, or Sunday evening. I don't look at social media, except maybe just share videos. So sometimes I have 1,000 plus messages. I just let them be. And then some I just click, like some of the um, WhatsApp group, platforms. Um, mm. I just click on clear message, because also it clogs my phone. And so it uses up the battery. So I just clear. Um, because if you decide to read everything you see up there, some, some are, you know, you see, you know, about 10 persons will repeat the same post yeah. and, you know, and some are unverified. So, um, or like before, before I could wake up 
And then the next thing I want to reach out to is my phone. Yeah. Oh, what's the information? What's new? So, but now I select what I read, you know, look out for specific to read, to work on. And so with that, I still, you know, I'm able to retain my sanity. And that's why, you know, um, during the protest, I couldn't, um, I, I, you know, I also created a blockade. Mm -hmm. I intentionally went off the phone so as not to, you know, provoke, you know, necessary anger in me. I know the kind of person I am, and so, uh, and I might be forced to do or say things that I, I, I didn't want to say, I wouldn't ordinarily want to say. Right. So until a few days later, when I know I could, take it. you know, take it. Well, for me, I've regulated my Facebook in such a way that when I've spent two hours in a day, it tells me you've spent two hours. Most times I don't spend up to that, those two hours. That's to regulate. Um, <clears throat> I seldom go on Instagram. Uh, by and large, I've managed to regulate how I use the social media and what I go to do. Even when I go on Facebook, I'm going to do something. I have a goal. Mm -hmm. I do that. I check on my friends. I'm out. Mm. Because you need to protect your being, your mental being, your mm. mental state. The same thing you talked about, sometimes your, your neighbor's phone might just be finer than yours. <laughs> the camera might just be finer than yours. I, I keep saying don't believe everything you, you see, see on yeah. Facebook. True. Because people go do a shoot and then they're releasing the shoot one after the other in other people's homes and other people's cars and other people's property. And then you're there like, ha, ah, There are God. Instagram pictures that are... Why is yeah. my yeah. own? <laughs> <laughs> you know? And you're saying, why is my own like this? True. How is your own? True, true, it's true. It's not everyone who's posting um, my, my bay, or bow, or what's bay, it? My bay. <laughs> my bay. My bay. Forget oh, okay, that yeah. thing. Yeah, it's quickly, somebody's yeah, brother. Quickly. I think there was even like a case no, quickly, of, of a lady. Quickly, I have a friend. Anytime it goes abroad, it takes like you know hundreds of pictures, and, yeah. then, and then he begins to release them <laughs> weekly, <laughs> like a year later, a year later. One per week. I, I think there was a case of a lady who, who posed with uh, a house sometimes ago. Oh, yeah. 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 And, and we all knew what that was that eventually uh, uh, led yeah, to. Yeah, that's right. And a lot of that is she's just a metaphor for what is going on on that stage. A lot of people, what you see there. It's not what it is. It's not what it is. Yeah. It's not what it is. And people have to be careful what they buy yeah. on, online. Yeah. 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 It's even as simple as the fact that you have five photographs and you want to post one. You always choose the best one. Of course. Of, right. of, of yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, someone called me one day and said, why did you go and post that picture? Just because you are the only one that was good in that yeah, picture. <laughs> so now there were three of us and it looked like I yes. had actually brought out, and I truly looked at the picture and thought, Okay, no, she's not looking very good, though, honestly. <laughs> so I now realize that I had focused on myself. So, and, uh, <laughs> and I won't lie to you. The, uh, I was very bad in the other ones now. So what am I going to do? And I wanted to show that I was at, uh, <laughs> I was lecturing at LBS. You know? <laughs> so, <laughs> well, we all want someone to notice. But as soon as they do, we wish they never noticed in the first place. We appreciate you sharing your opinions and comments with us. Jude Kose Diprov speaks on Liberos' last advocacy and he says, very thought-provoking indeed. Great advice to the Nigerian citizenry. Kunta Kinte says on Chukas' last advocacy, a man's world, the way some of our educated folks still delude themselves with that giant of Africa description will confirm Nigeria's problem is spiritual. <laughs> and they're the ones you often hear denigrating the youth, calling them Indomie generation, blah, blah, blah. If this is happening unchecked on the famed eyebrow queens drive in Okoye, one can only imagine what those in Mushi, Agege, and other wild zones are exposed to. I expected at some point she would unleash her dog. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. Maybe the dog was a puppy. We appreciate you sharing your opinions with us, and thank you, Jude Kuse Diprof and Kunta Kinte, for your opinions. Do continue to participate with us on all our social media platforms on Facebook plus TV Africa hashtag the advocate NG or on Twitter and Instagram at plus TV Africa hashtag the advocate NG to catch up with previous broadcasts go to plus TV Africa.com forward slash the advocate don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel plus TV Africa after the break Liberos is asking is Nigeria dead please stay with us we'll be right back Five panelists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely. 
and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. What, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you.